Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and I'm back with another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. You might remember that I had recently done a project using these adorable stamps. This is the stamp and die of the month for May and these are... They always put it in real small letters right here. It's Coffee with My Gnomies, and these guys are just adorable. I used one of the um, gnomes in my planner at the beginning of the month. I did it and did another card later on, and while I was doing that, I went ahead and stamped and cut out another sentiment and another one of the gnomes. So those are the ones I'm going to be using today. This is going to be a little bit of a short video because I wasn't sure how something was going to turn out so I decided to experiment a little bit and I love it so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I had played one night probably about a month ago with some of the Simon Hurley um, lunar paste on just some plain copy paper and cut that panel down so I've got four pieces and it's kind of a rainbow kind of thing but I decided you know I have I think I would really really like it if I put my little gnome with another coffee background instead of it being the coffee beans from the stencil I decided I would use this um, coffee cup um, embossing folder from Sizzix from Tim Holtz alterations I think I have another coffee embossing folder around here somewhere but I don't use them that often so I'm not sure where it is so I went ahead and embossed another one of these paper panels and I absolutely love that effect so this is what I'm going to use for my background um, also I'm kind of am wanting to keep that big contrast there so I'm going to do a little bit of light coloring on my gnome and then put the card together and I think this is going to be super cute. One thing though since I am using copy paper for this panel here that is just gorgeous I will be mounting that down onto some regular card stock so that it's going to be easier to work with and it's going to stay put and hopefully won't rip as easily in the mail. You know how that goes right guys? So give me just a second to pull out my marker and let's get started on this card. I'm going to start off with his um, little nose and little hands because I'm not real sure how much color I want to pull in. I want there to be a stark contrast between the white of the little gnome and that colorful background. So I'm, I'm not 100% sold on how I'm going to do this. But I do want to give him a little bit of skin tone so it shows that I've actually done something here. So I'm just coloring in his skin. This one is FS4, which in the Spectrum Noir colors turns out to be lighter than everything else. And then I'm going to go in with FS3, which is a little bit darker. Um, FS2 turns out to be really, really, really pink. And this one is still kind of pink too. But I feel, I feel that that's going to give me a little bit better of a shadowing effect. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit. Just putting a little bit of shadow on his nose, underneath his hat, and then behind, um, from his hands from behind that coffee cup. Okay, so now for the heart on his coffee cup, and I think I'm going to just go step by step and see how I li like it in contrast to my... Oh, that's still cute. Okay, it's to see when I decide that it's done, you know what I mean? So I'm going to add some... So I'm going to add just a little bit of PP3 on the heart, and then... Fill that in with PP2, and hopefully there's going to be a little bit of... So just like I did before, I'm going to put a little bit of the darker color of pink on. I think I'm just going to do it on the outside edge. You know, part, regardless of which side the heart is on, whichever is closest to the outside of the hat. And then just color in the other side and blend them together. So I'm going to go in now and do something with coffee beans. For that, I'm using EB2 and EB3. EB3 is a dark, dark brown, and EB2 is a light, light brown, which I still don't understand why they are so far apart. But I'm just going to bring a little line of the dark right under the edge between the two halves of the coffee bean. And then I'll take my EB2 to add color to the rest of the bean and pull that color out a little bit. And we will see how it looks. I may need to have a different shade of brown, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So we shall see. 
it's earth brown but to me it looks kind of having a little bit of a greenish tone okay I think what I'm gonna do yeah MB1 is still pretty light but it's got a little bit more of a browner color instead of that kind of yellowy greener color in the bean I'm in that brown for that bean and it's deepening the color up a little bit so that is looking good I think what I'm gonna do and I think what is gonna probably be the last bit I also took out some um, kind of a blue-green so the G GT3 is the darker one so I'm gonna use that for my shadow bring a little bit of that in on the edges of my coffee cup okay and then I'll bring it out I'll pull that color out and fill in the rest with my GT2 which is in the same color family but lighter I'm going to work that line between the two a bit to try to get rid of the harsh line and it's working well on one side let's see if I can get the same effect on the other side and I think I need a little bit more um, a little bit better blending so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my GT2 touch it to the tip of my GT3 just to darken it just a touch Draw that little bit of space in between those two colors and try to make them not quite so harsh and that looks just about perfect other than that I do want to give this little guy some coffee so let me add a little bit of the EB3 right along this edge here which would be the shadow and then I'm gonna come back in with my MB1 which means this guy's got creamer in his coffee and I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the others and I'm gonna to touch the tip of my lighter marker to my darker marker to pick up just a little bit of that color so that I can blend the two together better and give a better ombre and that I think looks just about perfect so let's see what it looks like in front of all of those iridescent <laughs> coffee things okay this I think is gonna be just about perfect now I could go back in and color in the hat but you know what I think this is good enough let me go ahead and get my cardstock out so that I can start putting everything together okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use my art glitter glue especially around the edges of my embossed panel and I'm gonna mount that down onto a piece of white cardstock that I've trimmed a little less than a two size I'm um, partially because I want to put make sure that I've got my white border where I want it and I don't normally use <laughs> paper for this I think what I was doing was just goofing around while I was sick a few weeks ago after having um, after having done that video I think where I was trying to do some gel press stuff and didn't really turn out all that well so I thought okay I'm gonna try this and I thought I had seen Simon Hurley doing something with just his um, amazing <laughs> his lunar paste I love the lunar paste so what I did is I mounted it into the corner so it's got a little bit of a white border on the other sides so did it get a little bit crooked so I'm going to be trimming that up and then that's going to go on the front of an A2 size green card panel a little offset so I'm going to go ahead and mount this down to my card base was debating whether or not to add some um, foam tape behind this one but I think I may just add some foam tape behind my little note this is gonna be so cute oh my goodness love it love it love it and I think I am also going to add a little bit of foam behind my sentiment there that is adorable loving this oh yes so 
So that's going to finish up this design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it every time you come and hang out with me. And be sure to check out this playlist over here for some more videos where I'm using some Not Too Shabby Shop products. You guys have a wonderful day. And remember, if I can make it, you can too. Have a great day.